POCO X3 Pro PUBG Review Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about POCO X3 Pro PUBG gameplay, heating, frame drops and all those things. Now before we get down to the minute details, a few things I would like to mention. For starters, I am not a pro at PUBG and sometimes I play in what a lot of you would call as the bot lobby. Then the next thing, the ambient temperature or the temperature of the surroundings when I was playing PUBG on the POCO X3 Pro was around 25 to 27 degree Celsius and on all occasions there was no and I repeat there was no case on the device. Now coming to the phone itself, a few things which I noticed. First of all, if you are going to play with the claw setup, right? So let us assume you're playing with the claw setup, then you have to hold the phone like this. So the camera module has to be in your right hand. Why? Because you would have the headphones attached, which is over here besides the USB type C port. Now, if you hold it like this and the claw setup, the headphone port is obstructed by your hand because you're gonna hold it like this. So again, the claw setup camera module needs to be here. Now another strange thing which I noticed is that on the POCO X3 Pro the headphone jack and the charging port are both on the same side. For me personally this was a bit uncomfortable because I am used to playing on the POCO F1 wherein the headphone jack is on one side and the charging port is on another side. So worth a mention, it might not be an issue for you, but for me, it was a minute issue, took some adjustment. Then the next thing, even with the claw setup, I generally hold my phone like this. So my pinky finger is over here. Now, if I am holding the phone for the claw setup, camera module in the right hand, and I'm holding like this, sometimes I would bump into the volume rocker and the volume would increase and decrease. Again, this might be a personal problem for me, but I think it is something which is worth mentioning. Now, let us go ahead and open the game and have a look at the different settings which are available to you for the graphics. So here it is, if I go into the settings and then go into graphics, you will see we have smooth and extreme, balanced and extreme, HD and extreme, HDR and extreme. Before you ask me what is this 120, this is the refresh rate of the display right now. Not the refresh rate of the game, but the refresh rate at which the display is set right now. And this is something which you can enable in developer options for all Android 11 devices. So let us exit the PUBG game. So those were your settings. Now coming down to business with the gyro, there was no lag, touch issues. No, me personally, I played with the claw setup, did not notice any touch issues. Coming down to the frame drops, the heating, all those things. So expect some frame drops after you've played for around an hour. After that, you do get frame drops, especially in situations wherein there are a lot of people around you, a lot of enemies, say you are landing in some place like Pochinki or the school, too many buildings to render, there are some frame drops. Not many, but do expect some frame drops while you are playing PUBG in close range, especially after an hour of gameplay. Next up, heating. So heating is something which I definitely noticed now is it super bad heating no it is not super bad but 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 a very important thing to remember is i was playing on 60 fps smooth extreme hd extreme and this this part is where it gets a bit warm so on the back near the camera module and on the left of the camera module this is where it gets a bit warm so if i am doing the claw setup holding like this this is where it gets warm it is warm to hold right but it is not too hot to hold but definitely the temperature was around 35 36 37 38 39 on the back that is the maximum which i could record all this at 60 fps right battery backup was decent enough 
half an hour games took around 9 or 10 percent of battery so definitely they could do something about the phone getting warm and this is with 60 fps things take a extreme turn when you play at 90 fps important thing to note over here 90 fps is not officially supported it is not officially supported by pubg on the poco x3 pro we are using a workaround i do not know whether it is the workaround or it is the phone but in case you want to enable 90 fps pubg on the poco x3 pro we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video now with 90 fps right after like 10 or 15 minutes the phone was warm or say too hot to even hold for me now on the ambient temperature was still around 25 26 27 degrees celsius and when i measured with the ir thermometer which i have the body temperature showed like 37 38 but 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 it was too hot for me to hold and the worst part is the screen also got hot in this area near the camera module so right here and right here 90 fps me personally i don't think so it is advisable on the device right now again as i mentioned earlier it might be due to some optimization issues or it might be due to the fact that we are using a workaround so 90 fps right now in the current situation with the workaround is a no-go the phone does get pretty hot and there is excessive battery drain as well so here on screen are some numbers for you so i was playing with the 90 fps hack and as you can see the start percentage of the battery the time for which i played the end percentage and the effective battery drain similarly after i finished the 90 fps session i played for an hour at 60 fps smooth and extreme hdr and extreme percentages time screen on time battery usage all of those numbers are on your screen so what is the bottom line for pubg on the poco x3 pro well in my humble opinion the bottom line is that as of now in the current situation with the current software which we have from poco it is only good at 60 fps and even then there are some frame drops after say one hour or 90 minutes of gameplay but again at 60 fps and going for what you paid for the device and the competition for poco x3 pro below 20k in india i don't think so you know a 7 series would be good enough so this right now might be your best option below 20k but do remember 90 fps is not officially available the workaround which we have is making the phone heat up and you are also having excessive battery drain with the 90 fps workaround so keep those things in mind before you purchase the poco x3 pro for your pubg gaming needs because there is no official word from poco india as far as i know there's no official word from poco india or poco global about poco x3 pro getting 90 fps now they do have a 120 fps display but then my point is what is the use of this 120 fps display if i cannot play pubg at 90 fps right and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you